Hey guys, it's Jess here. Um, I just want to introduce myself and explain to you what it is that I'd like to do here on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm basically a big advocate of using products that are all natural. Um, anything that doesn't contain, you know, mineral oil or parabens, um, I'm all for. I want to share my knowledge and um, basically educate people on these horrible things that, uh, you know, the cosmetic world is kind of hiding from consumers. Uh, it's a little scary if you go to a Sephora, for instance, and you look, you know, or a CVS in that matter, and you look at all the cosmetics. Um, if you look at their ingredients list, usually you'll see, you know, methylparaben or some paraben on that list. And um, if you aren't familiar and if you've never heard of parabens, it, they're a scary thing. Uh, they've been linked to cancer. They found parabens basically... Um, like uh, breast cancer, uh, tumors, and whatnot, and uh, it's just not a pretty thing. It's definitely not something you want to be putting on your body, uh, you know, every day in the long term. Um, it can be quite scary. So I'm here to basically show you, uh, I want to show you products that I was using before, products that I thought were great, but then when I, I went to go the all-natural route, which is very hard, I noticed that there are a lot of products out there that say that or claim that they work, but they, they aren't as effective as you would think. Finding a good all natural um, product can be hard. Um, a lot of them, you know, you have to search for your kind of holy grail products, so to speak. Um, so, anyways, the first product that I want to share with you before I was using Creme de la Mer. Um, this is a moisturizing cream. I've been using this for years. I thought, you know, this was it. I thought I had found my, you know, moisturizer. And I was shelling out anywhere from $150 to $160 per jar of this. And this is the one ounce. This is not even the big jar that goes for around $275. This is a smaller jar. So I was going through this fairly quick. Um, if you use it in the way that they want you to, um, you know, and you wash your face twice a day and you apply this, eventually you're you're going to be running out of it and buying a new bottle. So it quickly adds up. Um, one of the main ingredients in this is actual mineral oil. So I decided, you know, um, mineral oil um, was also something that I didn't want to be putting onto my skin. After doing some research and um, looking around online and doing some reading, um, I thoroughly came to this conclusion that this would be something that I would have to part with, um, even though I loved it. But there was one thing that I noticed. Every time I would get out of the shower, and uh, if I wouldn't apply it right away, my skin would have these horrible red patches, and I would have this really dry um, kind of texture that... Um, it was horrible. You know, I, I actually had to be using this all the time or else my face would just go crazy. And I, for a long time, thought, um, oh, it's the La Mer, but no, my skin should not have been doing that. Um, that's actual, the chemicals and the harshness of the cream, uh, you know, dries your skin out over time. And that's why your skin acts crazy like it does when you stop using a product because it's so, it becomes so acclimated to it. So, um, anyways, I just want to show you what I replaced that product with. I um, found this at Whole Foods. It was $13.99. Um, it's Aubrey. It's the organic rose hip uh, seed oil. And this stuff is amazing. I um, bought this and get it out of here and I'll show you what it looks like. It comes in this little roller ball, um, glass little jar. And basically, I roll it onto my fingers, and then I kind of either pat it like this, and then I just kind of apply it like that. And usually I do it when I get out of the shower, and uh, my skin is still damp, so it can kind of absorb. Um, this stuff is amazing. You can actually put it on your hair. You can put it, use it as a spot treatment. You can put it under your eyes. You can use it on wrinkles. You can do it on dry patches, red patches. Um, I'll tell you some things that I've noticed that it has done for me that actual the La Mer never did. Um, this stuff gives me a glow from within. Um, it's gorgeous. 
I put this on at night. I just pat it on everywhere and I wake up and my skin is super soft and it actually looks better than before when I was using the La Mer. Also, I have a ton of freckles. You can't really see, um, but I've had them my whole life just from being in the sun and it being genetic. And the freckles are actually fading um, gently. I wouldn't say it's something that happens overnight, but I, I did notice right away. And, um, you know, they just lightly fade. And the actual, it's great with wrinkles. It diminishes the wrinkles. And um, overall, I love this product. It has, the smell doesn't bother me at all. Um, and I love the price point. And I love the fact that I'm not putting chemicals. I'm not putting parabens. I'm not putting mineral oil. None of that crap on my face. All those things essentially, um, you know, over time, they're poisoning us. And, um, you know, this is something that we need to share with everyone. We need to educate people. Um, not enough people realize when they look at uh, ingredients lists on cosmetics what they're actually putting on their skin. It's the same as would you drink a liter or two liters of Coca-Cola a day and that's it? And for your entire life expect to, to be healthy. You can't do that. You have to have fruits, vegetables, you know, vitamins, nutrients. So essentially that's what this is. And um, I just want to, you know, encourage people to go out and try this product. It's worth it. Um, it definitely, you know, is it become my holy grail product. And, uh, you know, I'll definitely continue using this. And uh, I just want to share with the world and with everyone out there. And, um, yeah, so anyways, check back for my other videos. I'm going to try and do some more uh, comparisons like this, what I was using before versus what I am now, and just explain to you the difference and whatnot. So anyways, um, thank you very much. Check back for more videos. Bye.